Hello and welcome to this walkthrough for the Techovation M-Puncher Transient Shaper plugin. In this video, we will be looking at what M-Puncher is capable of, check out some sound examples, and go through the various controls that you can use to easily raise the impact and boost the ambiences of your mixes. M-Puncher is designed to add punch and low-end thump to your tracks, perfect for adding definition to mix elements like drum hits, guitar strums, or synth stabs. It works by identifying and processing the attack and sustain portions of your audio independently, giving you detailed control over your audio and enabling you to bring out more punchiness to help an instrument cut through or soften an already punchy element that is causing a distraction in your mix. M-Puncher also features dynamic limiting, which empowers you to choose how your track's punch is emphasized, while also adding harmonic richness to your audio. This is along with other useful features such as mid-side processing, auto gain compensation, and frequency-dependent analysis. Let's have a listen to what M-Puncher can do. In this example, we have a snare and a kick that could benefit from some transient shaping to get them sounding just as we want them. Starting with the snare, let's add some punch to have it really cut through. By turning up the punchiness control, we can immediately hear the increased attack of the snare. Then we can increase the limiting to control the attack level, as well as adding some nice harmonic saturation. We can adjust the tight, normal and loose envelope modes to control how snappy it sounds. Let's try loose for now. And we can also control the detection range, which allows you to limit the frequency range that M-Puncher analyzes to identify the attack and sustain portions of your audio. This comes in really handy when processing a full set of drums, for example, as you can single out individual elements. Let's just quickly adjust the sustain, which controls the decay. A high sustain brings up the ambience of the snare, but for this, we want it really snappy. So reducing the sustain makes the snare decay faster and gives it a bit more focus. So let's have a listen to the before and after. So it definitely adds some snap to the snare, which really helps it cut through nicely. Now let's take a look at the kick. This kick is actually sounding a bit too punchy and harsh, so M-Puncher can help us with that as well. First, let's bring down the punchiness. Already, that's much better. We can bring down the sustain a bit to shape the character of the kick a bit more. Let's set it to tight so that M-Puncher goes after the initial attack of the kick, and then we'll add some limiting to add some of that nice harmonic distortion. Then the final thing we need is a bit more low-end thump. So very simply, we just go up to the thump setting and dial it in. So let's hear what that sounds like. So that really takes the harshness out of the kick and lets it sit a bit better. As you can see, it's very simple and efficient to craft your perfect sound and get the punch and energy just how you want it. So we've shown off a few of the individual features, but let's go through everything that M-Puncher has to offer in a bit more detail. So punchiness is the main control of this plugin. This adjusts the level of your attacks in your audio. Bring it up to add punch to the percussive elements of your track, or bring it down to soften your transients. Increasing the limiting parameter controls M-Puncher's dynamic soft clipper, constraining the attack levels while also adding subtle harmonic richness. The limiter is completely independent of the input signal level and instead limits how much the attack level can increase compared to its original volume. So it's just as effective for inputs of any loudness and dynamic range. The limiter also still works when punchiness is set to zero or lower, enabling you to make use of the subtle saturation on the attack portion even without increasing punchiness. The thump control applies a bass boost to the attack portion of your audio, allowing you to emphasize the low end impact of the track without affecting the overall tonal balance. This uses a linear phase filter to give a clean, low frequency boost, free of any phase cancellation issues. There are three attack envelope modes you can choose from, which will each affect the audio slightly differently. Tight mode is the fastest envelope, best for achieving short, snappy attacks. Normal mode strikes a balance between focused punch and openness of the attacks and loose mode produces longer, open-sounding attacks. 
Sustain allows you to boost or cut the level of the sustained parts of your audio. So by increasing sustain, you bring up the decay and ambience of the sound, whereas reducing it makes the sound decay faster, giving you a more dry and focused character. You can control the frequency range that M-Puncher analyzes to identify the attack and sustain portions of your audio using detection range. This gives you precise control over which parts of the audio will be affected by the punchiness, sustain, and thump controls. And you can quickly listen to the selected frequency range by hitting the sidechain button, enabling you to fine tune elements of the track that the plugin should respond to. The makeup gain lets you match the overall level of the track back to the level it was before. And to make things even easier for you, you can use the auto gain feature to have M Puncher continuously and automatically change the makeup gain while you adjust the parameters. Once you're happy with your parameters, deselect auto to lock in the gain change. M Puncher is also equipped with all the standard and essential Techovation plugin features such as mix control, mid side, left and right balance control, delta listening, presets, undo, redo, and more. And there you have it. M Puncher is the perfect creative tool to quickly add impact and emphasis to your tracks and overall improve your mixes. Thank you for watching this walkthrough video.